In this presentation, we're going to discuss automating accounts payable invoice processing using FSOC. Let's look at the business case of why we'd want to use this automation technique. In an accounts payable invoice processing environment, there are many paper and email invoices being received. There's usually delays or backlogs in processing the invoices on the same day they're received. There's usually a large staff required to support the process. During peak periods, usually staff needs to be increased or backlogs will increase. There's usually keying errors by the staff that are entering data into the system. And usually there are lost invoices, missed payments, or documents that are misplaced that you cannot locate. One use case of the wholesale distributor, they had a paper-based invoice processing system. It took them five days to enter the invoice data generally because they weren't staffed enough. And they had 10 people entering the data. With automation technologies, they were able to scan and process the documents on the same day they were received. They could access the documents by several people in different places because they were images stored in a central location versus paper. By routing the images and invoices around, uh, it improved the review and approval process, and they reduced the staff from 10 to 4 people uh, using these automated processes. Some of the savings they achieved were in data entry, data accuracy, not missing payments, and obtaining early payment discounts. They improved the location of the vendors in the system by automating uh, table lookups, improved customer satisfaction, and reduced the labor and errors in the system. So I have a batch here, several batches that have been processed. I have a review tab that would be used if there were multiple document types that you wanted to identify, and a validation tab uh, just to uh, validate the extraction data that was uh, taken off the document. So in this case, I'll just look at validation since we scanned in all invoices. We know what they are. No need to use identification. So on invoice demo, I'll click this one. It's a layout of the screen. On the left, I have the documents and thumbnail representation, so I can see those. In the middle, I have uh, the document types plus the data that was extracted. And on the right, I have an actual blow-up of the image. FSOF supports very high-speed data entry and very high-speed processes, so we use shortcut keys so the operator doesn't have to touch the mouse if they, want, if they don't want to keep their hands on the keyboard, so it's very fast. And then what the operator essentially does is looks at the screen, looks at the uh, data and decides uh, what needs to be edited. In this case, document number one, I'll start with. You can see invoice date. Let me blow this up a little so you can see it better. Invoice date was extracted correctly. Invoice number, invoice total. These are all correct. So uh, what happens here is nothing really needs to be validated in this case. So I would go to the second document. Again, here I see invoice date. Next one. Invoice number, you see that was extracted correctly. The amount due is correct. And then the vendor is based on the database lookup. In this case, I have vendor information on the bottom here. And that was actually developed by through a database lookup, reading the entire page, looking for a vendor. And if I found some match, I identified that, and then I did a lookup. Next document, doc three. Uh, you can see here it extracted the invoice date, invoice number. Again, uh, invoice total, it couldn't find, probably because it was dirty down here. Um, a lot of garbage behind the scenes. I can click on that. I clicked on it. It found it. That's instant click OCR that we have here. But it probably couldn't read, P, please pay this amount, which is understandable due to the dirtiness on the document. But even so, I clicked the field. It read the data. Uh, vendor ID, again, is determined based on uh, looking at the addresses and going to a database. You see I have an error here because it doesn't want uh, punctuation. So I can just uh, change values and, and go from there. But only the red highlighted areas is what the operator would have to stop on. Document 4, you can see it's completely, uh, everything's green here, read everything correctly. Just go through a couple fields so you can see what it did here. Again, did a table lookup on the vendor. Uh, document 5, again, you can see the fields. In most cases, you're getting 95, 98% read rates here. Uh, it's reading everything very well, unless you have a dirty document. Document 6, just to show a few others, again, perfect reads on these. Invoice number, 
long number, even though there's garbage, we clean it up and still read it. We can remove the spaces if we wanted to. The moist total amount, again, a vendor uh, lookup based on uh, the whole page. Doc 7, here again, you see that it, it corrected the uh, invoice date, invoice number, but it couldn't find invoice total. Again, probably because this keyword is hidden here. If I click on that, oops, I was on the wrong field. Let's go back to invoice number. That was up here. Um, reads it, uh, invoice total, click on that field, and it read it fine, even though it was uh, garbage behind it. Uh, found the vendor correctly, and we're fine. Doc 8, let me show you another step here. Again, we're reading everything correctly. Going back to the previous document, keep in mind, all I have to do is stop on those items that are highlighted in red. And uh, other than that, everything's fine. Um, Doc 8, uh, you can see the invoice date, invoice number, invoice total. Uh, and then again, vendor, and identify the vendor correctly as Acme. Now, if I go to here, I can look at the tables. Around the tables, what I do have exactly is pulling off data from the table, the bottom grid. And that's what it's showing here. And you can see, again, it read it correctly. So that's essentially the process. You go through here. You only go on the highlighted fields, uh, which is probably one out of ten fields or less, and correct that data. And uh, that's how you do validation. The net benefits of the system were to reduce the data entry effort in the entering and processing of invoices, increase the accuracy of data with using database validation, manage the volume increases without adding staff using automation, reduce the, man reduce the manual invoice processes, they were able to take advantage of early payment discounts, and they centralized the remote offices within client distributed capture. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.